So here is my mug and a handle in a wet leather hard stitch. I first position the handle on the mug to see where I want it to be, just approximately, and make preliminary markings. Uh, as I had a new handle template, it was a little bit too long, so I cut it shorter and then cut the end at an angle to repeat the curve of my bellied mug because my mugs are bellied. <laughs> I also uh, like the end of the handle at an angle, so I cut it like that, you see, only because I think it looks neater. Then I score the ends on the handle and on the mug, and I use an angle ruler to make sure the handle will be positioned straight enough. So my markings on the mug, and then um, I apply uh, slip and I like my slip to be on a thicker side, you know. And in general, I try to use no water at all when I attach the handles so that to minimize the risk of the cracks because water does cause uh, cracks on the joints. And even if I use some water, I make sure it's wept off the clay quickly so that it doesn't oversaturate it. So I carefully position my um, handles on the mug and start pressing and pushing it, uh, the ends carefully so that not to dis distort the mug because it can still be a little bit wet. And uh, you see uh, the handle came off center a little bit, so I repositioned it. And then I start working on the joints, confusing clay, <laughs> blending in, yeah, pressing a little bit. Ideally, you need uh, that slip to be squeezed out of the from under the joints. And then I start blending uh, the joints in using my brush or a wooden tool. Sometimes, not sometimes, but almost always, brush is enough. So the idea is to make sure the joints are as smooth as possible and blending properly. So what I do with the brush is just I push all the slip inside the joints. And of course it may look um, slow and tedious, but as you get into your rhythm, it becomes much faster and it's also meditative because I like working with brush. <laughs> so after I finish working with uh, the lower parts of the handle joint, I start working on the upper parts and for that I need I use my needle tool, pressing clay inside the joints and I take some fresh clay and again I place those little lumps inside the joint and compress and press and clean up with a brush. Again, I prefer to dip my brush in sleep or just water and then wipe it off against my sponge. Yep. So that fresh clay just reinforces the joints even more. Yeah, here I use a finer brush to smoothen out the joints even more. Yeah. That's it. And after I handle the mugs, I place them into lidded containers overnight so that the um, moisture is spread evenly across the body of the mug and the handle. And this is uh, the next day. I smoothen out, smooth out all the markings. Oh, it's actually not the next day yet. <laughs> uh, it's still, it still has markings and still. So here is the next day, and uh, you see, I run the needle tool again in those joints to compress and seal up. Uh, to compress the clay and seal uh, the joints up even more. So like this, there will be no cracks at all. 
and I clean up and retouch. At this stage, it's much easier to clean up, so I um, do that, try to do that, not forget. <laughs> yeah, and that's it.